presents. It's production of glass houses for winter protection of tropical and subtropical plants. Our company has been dealing with cold, hardy, exotic plants in the Czech Republic for years. The Veskiri region can have very unfavorable weather conditions, especially in the autumn and winter seasons. This climate can have drastic consequences for our plants, primarily due to more rainfall, frost and snow. Although all of our plants have a high degree of frost resistance, it would be very difficult for them to survive these harsh conditions without these glass houses. Formatting polycarbonate panels. We are capable of producing a custom-made glass house to meet your most demanding needs. The glass houses which we produce are made of high quality clear polycarbonate panels with a double-sided UV filter. We either use 10 millimeter or 16 millimeter thicknesses which are imported within the European Union. The polycarbonate panels have a long life expectancy with excellent insulation and transparency properties. The following factors are unbeatable on world markets. Aluminum Yekel profiles. Our glass house frames are made from hollow aluminum Yekel profiles, which meet the strictest standards in the EU. The aluminum frames which we use have a long life expectancy. They can lie in the rain, in strong frost, snow or in water and will remain undamaged. They are maintenance free. Formatting aluminum Yekel profiles. Before cutting the profiles, it is very important that the miter saw is carefully set up to meet the desired dimensions and that the aluminum profiles are all lined up to enable easy cutting. Each cut and cutting angle is precisely measured and formatted to fit perfectly with the dimensions. There's no room for any mistakes. Before the frame is welded together, we make sure that all the measurements fit accurately. Individual profiles are welded together. We use the TIG method of welding, tungsten inert gas, which is welding conducted with a tungsten electrode in a protective atmosphere of inert argon gas with an aluminum wire. Every joint is thoroughly welded to withstand the greatest resistance of bending excess weight from wet snow and wind. The sealing system has reinforcement bars against larger amounts of fallen snow. Assembling the aluminum parts together. First, all parts are pre-drilled so that the frame can be easily joined together with other parts. Mounting horizontal support braces. They are then screwed into precise pre-drilled holes in order to fit as best as possible to enable simple assembly. Assembling the polycarbonate panels to the aluminum frame. First, we have to remove the protective folio from the polycarbonate panels. We use special screws for aluminum with water-resistant washers in order to mount the polycarbonate panels to the frame. Extremely light, very sturdy and durable frames. The maximum weight of these aluminum frames, including polycarbonate panels, is an incredible 2.3 kilograms per square meter, which is the equivalent to five pounds. Most of our glass houses are made of five parts and are very easy to assemble together. Larger glass houses are made up of more parts. Mounting vertical support braces. Wider and larger glass houses must have both horizontal and vertical support braces to withstand severe winds and heavy wet snowfalls. Cutting out window openings from polycarbonate panels. 
For the best optimal winter conditions for your exotic plants, windows are cut out to enable proper ventilation when day and night temperatures increase and decrease so that excess heat and water condensation can evaporate, leaving your plants dry without any fungal disease formation. Window stoppers. These window stoppers are used to prevent strong winds from opening the window shutters. Autumn, winterizing, preparation for winter storage. Before winterizing, we must first tie up all the leaves, preferably with two millimeter wire and some adhesive tape for additional security so that the leaves stay tied together. An extension cord with an electrical power supply is then brought to the plant. After connecting the thermostat to the heater and setting the input and output values to the desired temperatures, we can then put the glass house into position. At this point, we should test the heater and thermostat to see that it switches on correctly at the desired values. Finally, we assemble the last panel to the glass house and the plant is ready for winter storage. Don't forget to anchor the glass house into the ground. Anchoring the glass house into the ground using steel reinforcement rods. All our glass houses have eyelets or hook screws on each side which are used for anchoring to prevent tillage from the soil. Three millimeter steel cables are threaded into the eyelets and then these are anchored into the ground using 10 millimeter steel reinforcement rods with a minimum length of 65 centimeters. We anchor the steel rods diagonally into the ground, enabling the anchor to be more efficient, more sturdy, and stronger. Winter. Our glass houses are resistant to heavy snowfalls, strong frost, rain, and strong winds. The polycarbonate panels enable your tropical plants to have the fullest amount of daylight and sunshine during short winter days, keeping your plants dry. Spring, glass house removal. We cannot exactly determine when to remove the glass houses. It depends on several factors depending on the type of plant, its resistance level, the geographical position of the garden, and of course the long-term weather forecast. We remove the glass houses approximately in the first or second week in March for very resistant tropical plants, the first week in April for average resistant tropical plants, and no earlier than the 15th of May for the least resistant tropical plants that cannot withstand more rainfall in the spring when temperatures are slightly around zero degrees Celsius to plus five degrees Celsius. If you followed all of our advice, ventilated the glass house properly throughout the autumn, winter, and early spring, had your thermostat adjusted correctly, then you should uncover a plant in spring that has a nice leaf color with minimum leaf damage. Your tropical plant should look almost exactly the same as when it did before you covered it up in the autumn with some possible new growth. Summer. We offer you a product which we've had the possibility to test for years. We can only confirm that our glass houses made from aluminum frames with polycarbonate panels are the best selection for winterizing your tropical and subtropical plants anywhere needed in the world. We strongly believe that after having viewed our garden, it inspired you in such a way that you too will want to create your own tropical oasis at home, right in your own garden. We think the spent energy and effort is worth it. What do you think? Would you like to have a special and exceptional garden that will be different from your neighbors? All it needs is a bit of enthusiasm, patience, knowledge, work and finances, and you can have it all. Our company will be delighted to help you accomplish this dream. You can be 99.9% .9 sure that your exotic plants will survive the long and severe winters using our glass houses. <laughs>